What if you spent a hundred real life days building a mega base in this otherwise bland and boring super flat landscape? I'm gonna find it out in this series. 3.59 pm on day 1. As you maybe know from the last episode, I wanna build as much from this giant mountain range around the heart as possible. And I've basically got all the blocks for that. So I just need to dye a few more things and then turn a bit of stuff into concrete instead of concrete powder. See you when I'm done with that. 9.50 pm, I'm still in the process of getting some more stuff because I need a little bit more gravel, but now I gotta go to bed, so see you. It's the next day, 5.04 p.m. and I've got the free shulkers of gravel here now. There it is. So next I need some sand. 5.44 a.m. I've now got all of the resources and the colors to color it. But now I gotta go to school. So when I'm back, I can craft some of this together and turn the concrete powder into concrete and stuff. And then I can start building. You know that feeling when you've been using the English language a lot for one and a half years? And then at the English test, you still get a C because of a lot of stupid mistakes. Emotional damage! But anyway, here I built a cactus farm now because I wanted to buy a cactus for green dye. But then I thought, I've already spent like 20 ancient debris or something buying cactus. I should probably uh, finally get some cactus farm myself. And it turned out to be like 5 hours of work or something. Maybe I could have also just made it a little bit smaller. But now it's completed, except that the storage system doesn't work because I can't transport this back up easily without breaking better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really hope this whole thing is gonna work. First, I have to go to my controls and I have to put the right click to a different thing. This is a German letter, by the way. And then what I'll have to do is activate the lever, activate this trapdoor so that I'm underneath it, aim at this and keep pressing this letter to place stuff. I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Yes! I mean, I destroyed a lot, which I was expecting to do, but that's not a big problem. I think the TNT has been broken, right? Yes. See you when this is all fixed up. You know that feeling when you get a C in maths as well? Emotional damage! So it's actually much later now. I think I fixed my cactus farm. I got a lot of stuff out of it already, even though I don't need it right now. And I've actually got all the resources here. But now, something I've really been looking forward to. I want to design the mountains in my creative world and learn a bit of world edit for it. So see you there after I've done some real things. It's day 6, 12.39 a.m. and I've built mountains a lot now. As you can see in this creative world, laid out a lot here. And this outline is where all the mountains are gonna be, but I'm not gonna pre-build them all and make a schematic here. I am actually gonna build them in Survivor, but I spent a few hours making this little chunk here so that I could test how it should look. So I'm gonna try and use some world edit to make these mountains look good. And on the second screen I'm gonna be watching the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy for the first time. See you in the next progress update. It's 2.05 pm, the Black Knights or whatever they're called just arrived in Bray. And I didn't do a lot that you can see very well, but I actually used the tool to make a lot of these plateaus to make the mountain look more interesting. And it's pretty laggy because of like the millions of gravity blocks here. I realized they are actually called the Nesco. A little bit later, Frodo is now in Rivendell and I've replaced all this mountain with grass. Not because I want it to look like this, but because later when using commands I can turn all the dirt into something and all the grass into something else so that there is a difference between the blocks on the air and the blocks in the mountain. It's 4.20 pm, I just started on the two towers and this mountain is beginning to look a lot more interesting. I've now added in the color and the gradient and what I gotta do next is the surface material. So I probably wanna replace the grass and maybe add some more surface that like runs down here on the side. And on the top there's probably gonna be snow and maybe I'll have some other details. But looking at this monstrosity, which is maybe like 10% of the size that the final thing all around the heart will have, I'm really hoping that I have enough resources. 8 or 9 p.m. I've had dinner and I would say this actually looks pretty good and pretty impressive from down here. Although in my opinion there is too little grass and two little red areas because if you've seen here for the upwards it shifts to red stuff and also two little snow but I can change that when I actually build it in survival and I just didn't think it was worth my time to manually place some of that now but I have now decided that I'm gonna spend the rest of today making a, a very rough shape to go on when building this also as you can see I didn't cover the back 
and then tomorrow I'm gonna try to build as much as possible in survival. So let's see how the shape will go. 2.26 a.m. Slept for two hours before then kind of woke up again. Also made a movie break right before the helm steep fight. And I've now planned a little bit here of the structure. And this sand thing is about a fifth of the whole thing and it took me about 50 minutes. So I need three more of those, which means two and a half hours probably. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this today and also I haven't even added the platforms. You know, like these little things, I'm normally gonna add them later. But I'm at least gonna do a little bit more today and then go to sleep and continue tomorrow. It's now 4.20 a.m. I remembered that 12 hours ago at 4.20 p.m. I also recorded a clip and I should probably go to bed now. I think I'm gonna do that. But also a few minutes back when building this, I kind of thought, is this too small? Because you know when building this in creative you kind of lose a sense of scale. But then I went down here and I started to actually walk around and this is so gigantic. But see you tomorrow. I've now already edited everything you've seen so far this morning and I've decided that I'm not gonna spend 7 more hours building this outline because then I would hardly get anything done in the actual world. But I'm just gonna make a schematic of what I already have and use that to build as much as possible today. So see you on the server. So as the fight of Helm's Deep is about to begin, I am gonna start building the mountain. But first, why am I in a weird orange white van on a trash area? Well, here's a clip of what happened yesterday. Today, we summon thy, the magical, the one and only, the powerful, Uncle Ronnie! Yeah! <laughs> Uncle Ronnie, where's Uncle Ronnie? Yeah. Uncle Ronnie! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's Uncle Ronnie! Oh my god! It's Uncle Ronnie! Uncle Ronnie! Yeah, Uncle Ronnie! Editing by Pixel here. That clip wasn't confusing at all. But if for some reason it didn't make sense to you, Uncle Ronnie doesn't make any sense. It's just a random name with Uncle in front of it. But what does make sense is that we essentially just added McAndrew as a new member to the server and that was our interesting opening ceremony. Let's put it that way. 10.06 AM, I finally got the schematic here and I hate schematics. They are so hard to configure. But anyway, now I got it and let's do a time lapse of a few hours. What is this? It's 1.43 PM of a few days later and I wanna make an epic time lapse, but the replay recordings are just not working. And it's only two that are not working, which is the two I need. Ah, small grammar correction from 30 seconds later, which are the two I need. I guess it's day 8, 9.47 p.m. Kind of messed up yesterday, I mean I did this and like I spent a little bit of time building for this time lapse but it doesn't look too impressive and I, yeah, I mean let's be honest, I was just procrastinating again. But I'm gonna try to build this mountain in week 5, although definitely not on day 1. 